I called on Earl all day. day. You said you called, called on up. Earl. Who the hell is Earl? <laughs> oh. All day long. <laughs> We here, nigga. Yeah. Realest niggas by landslide. Uh-huh. Show sure enough, I'm about to blow up, cause I'm tired of walking around landmines. Yeah. Rap savior, hellraiser, Woo. don't worry, nigga, I claim both. Uh-huh. One nigga that's unsigned, that's off the chain. Yeah. Chain go. So, <laughs> I don't know if it was the uh, first JSU home game or not, but I do remember, like, I started my night at Johnny T's, right? It was on a Saturday. Yeah. And. We was just taking shots. Like, women know, some women know if you go to Johnny T's, it's like a different crowd in there. And that crowd, they don't mind spending money on whatever, whatever. Yeah. So, we're we're in there, right? And they were ordering shots, but it was Casamigos. So, I'm like, you know, hey, it's, it's cool. I tried. It's going down really smooth. But yeah. It started going down too smooth. <laughs> and then, you know, Johnny C's have their signature drinks like the Rick James, and I had already had like two of them. Yeah. Depending on your level, you probably only need two Rick James because they'll get you right. So I had already had two Rick James, and I lost count of my Casamigo shots. But I know by the time I made it to Cigar Lounge downtown, I had broke my shoe. It was some heels. Yeah, I had broke my shoe. I had to leave my vehicle downtown. I got to my cousin's house, and I was fine getting there. But that morning when I woke up, that Sunday morning, it was one of those I called on Earl all day. day. You said you called called on Earl. Who the hell is Earl? (laughs) Oh. All day long. It was one of the moments where you have to say, God, if you let me get through this hangover, I ain't drinking no more. You know how we do that sometimes, but yeah. we be right back drinking. <laughs> I know I was sick all that fucking day. Dang I went you. back and by the time I recovered, I had to eat some chicken noodle soup. Ginger ale was not working. I know black people think ginger ale is the cure to everything. Oh, yeah, it did not help me that day. <laughs> so by the time I recovered, I was able to go back down there and get my vehicle. It was still parked down there. No tickets, nothing on it. But that Casamigos fucked me up. Damn, Casa. Yeah. <laughs> and I know some other people got some horror stories with it. And I witnessed it. But I for, I stay away from Casamigos. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I'm traumatized. <laughs> no. I actually, uh, I bought a bottle of Casamigos. Uh, I was at Sam's Club liquor store in Madison. Mm-hmm. And they had Casamigos. So, you know, they got three different kinds of tequilas. They got Blanco, Reposado, and then Yeho. And Yeho usually like the top of the line, most expensive. They had it at Sam's Club then Yeho for like $20 or $30. I thought about that be real quick. $20, $30? Yes. But you know, that's how much it used to cost before they upped the price during the pandemic. Yeah. It got, like you said, it got real yeah, popular in the pandemic. It. And you know. Because I had nothing else to do but drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it, and it's crazy because that's when I started tapping reviews during the pandemic. Okay. So, she, I was just like the other niggas. I was drinking with them. <laughs> but you monetized it. Exactly. So, now I get paid to talk about how much I don't like Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's crazy because uh, I don't have a two-turn story on Casamigos. Wow. Because, like I said, I don't buy it. Like, I, mm-hmm. like Altos is a, a cheaper tequila. Mm-hmm. And my two-turn story with that. I was at Jackson State, homecoming. I'm going to make this quick because these folks have heard this story before. I took at least three or four shots before I left the house. Mind you, this is Mississippi, so like homecoming was like I was that. just about to say, what was the temperature? It was it was October, but you know, in Mississippi, it still be 90 it's degrees, like degrees in October. So, went out there on the plaza, somebody passed around, Hennessy. <laughs> And I was taking shots in. Mind you, I didn't like Hennessy then either. I didn't. But it was homecoming. Mm-hmm. Turn up. Next thing I know, I was passed out. I was in a building, like, by the plaza. I was passed out on the floor. Just sitting there. In the middle of the day on. Yeah. What, 
Yeah, I was passed. Like, I, I don't know. Y'all, I was passed out. My friends had to save me. I don't even remember how I got home. When I woke up, I was in the passenger seat in my car outside of my house. Whoa. So, yeah. So, if I was on Cosmigos, they probably would have did the same thing. Everybody I know that drinks the excessive amount of Cosmigos always has a story or something happens. <laughs> I don't know what it is about. Well, that. hopefully, if them folks tune in and tap their views, they can tell their two-turn story yeah. about something else other than Casamigos. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you got any last words for the views? Because I'm lit. Like, I'm still lit from earlier. But you got any last words for the views? I don't. Okay, because this is going to be on the podcast. Okay. This is going to yeah, be on her court. I don't. No, I do. I am going to say something. I won't be there Saturday, but if y'all people going to the game Saturday, it is at 1 p.m. again, make sure y'all drink water and y'all hydrate. Yeah. Don't be mm-hmm. on this. Don't be on Casamigos. Don't be on Hennessy. Y'all need to drink water. Water. Jack State released a statement the other day telling them, you know, they was going to have more water available yeah. and, you know, certain measurements and precautions they needed to take. Yeah. I heard hella people had passed out. Yeah. And was leaving. But I honestly think that's, I mean, it's a one o'clock game in Mississippi. Like, what do you expect? Like, prepare, prepare yourself. Exactly. And then with, with Dion being there, like, normally those games are at six o'clock. But, like, with the ESPN coverage, right. that's why, you know, they got the one o'clock slots and stuff. But it is what it is. So, that's been another episode of Tap Interviews and Uncorked. And we out this time.